You can always count on the SCHS student section to cheer on Beaver basketball. Well, at least for most events you can. At the last home game, it was noted that the number of students in the student section was less during the girls game <laughs> compared to the boys game. <laughs> the girls team has become accustomed to the lack of fan support according to head coach Amy Felker. I don't think it does. They're really uh, locked in on the game and 32 minutes of just playing hard and doing what they need to do. Yeah, they like when the atmosphere is good, but you know, we got the cheerleaders, we got the band and we, we still got the community supporting us. Whether the student section is there or not, you know, they're going to play hard for who's there. The boys, they can't use a lot of energy and that kind of stuff, or then they're going to get tired for their games. They're there. They talk to the girls after the game and say, hey, you guys had a good game or that kind of stuff. I'm not I'm not disappointed in, in what they do. They need to be getting focused for their game and that kind of stuff. But just them being there means a lot. We're just we're just lucky to have a community like we do BBN stepping up and, and recording our games. But, you know, we are just thankful for who we have at the game to support us, who watches us live, whatever and whoever watches us. It's just nice to see people support us, and that's all that really matters. However, junior varsity basketball player Kendall Gentry gives a different perspective on how she views the lack of support. I don't think that it affects our team in a negative way. I think that with if we have a student section or not, we're going to play our game, but I do think that if we did have a student section, I think that you'd see a difference in the way that we do play. It definitely lights a fire. It definitely makes us have more energy. I think that when we attend other games, like away games, you can tell that there's a difference of the way both teams play because when we go to other schools, there's a girls' student section, there's a boys' student section, and during the girls' game, our team can tell that there's a difference in the way that we play. Rather, as when we're at home and there's not one, I mean, we're still playing our game once again, but we definitely don't have as much energy. It's not very energetic. It's not very a fun environment to be around. The Beaver Broadcasting Network also noted the viewership of the girls' games' live streams compared to the boys'. The viewership of the streams shows that the boys' games are viewed more than the girls'. Those things are just, they're natural for everybody. Most generally, you're going to get more views and that kind of stuff for the boys game. Boys are just always supposedly more exciting, faster pace, that kind of stuff. And, and that's okay. You know, um, we got a good following. You know, our parents are there. We've got community support. We just do what we want. We don't let the little things bother us, play for whoever is watching out there. We support them and glad that they get on to watch us too. Here at our school, we um, like to acknowledge boys sports more. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but um, for boys sports, it's typically like announced for people to come and making sure that we're being loud and um, having a really good student section, especially for boys sports. I don't think I've ever heard an announcement to come to a a girls game but it kind of sucks seeing everyone show up for the boys game like you'll see a few trickle in but you know it's just for the boys it's not because we're playing at all so yeah that definitely does suck just seeing all of them show up when the boys are playing if you are able to come to our games that you should come to our games be a good um, supporter of our of our team because I think that if you actually come and watch the girls game you'll see that um, we are a really good team and it's it's a very fun game to watch when you're watching us if you do come for BBN, I'm Val Catano.